all the things you need to get that skin barrier and overall skin looking like a baddie that it already is. Hi guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist and I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe to the channel because you're here every week, every single week talking about skincare. The Ordinary, y'all, we have not talked about the Ordinary in a hot minute. Like it's been a hot minute, y'all. And I was just thinking like, we need to catch up. I went on the Ordinary website, it's like randomly, and then I saw that, actually no, I'm lying. I was watching James Walsh's channel and I saw that the Ordinary launched not one, but two new cleansers, cause they were sitting on this Colleen cleanser for a long time. But you guys, I'm so happy that they launched a new cleanser. And I thought, you know what? There's been new eyes on my channel. Let me help someone build an Ordinary skincare routine. Let me build an Ordinary skincare routine for an oily and dry skin person. And yeah, just gonna catch up with the Ordinary and catch up with you guys with the Ordinary. Y'all, let's talk about the ordinary. Starting with cleansers, if you have dry skin, the glycolipid cream cleanser would be amazing for you. All the lipids and oils and humectants and peptides will help to really rebuild that skin barrier. Also, for my dry skin girlies, the OG Squalene cleanser is amazing because it does have oil to help seal in moisture. For my oily skin sisters, the glucoside foaming cleanser would be amazing. It's an oil-free and water-based formula. You know your skin's gonna love that. Moving on to exfoliants. My dry skin girlies, lactic acid is amazing because it's moisturizing but also exfoliating. Mandelic acid is also another gentler option. Oily skin sisters, like all the acid toning solution. I know, I know, not for everyone, but if you know how to use it, it works amazing. Also love salicylic acid to clear out those nasty pores. Serums, dry skin girlies, hyaluronic acid for obvious reasons, hydrate that skin, plump that skin, get rid of all that crackiness and dryness. My oily skin sisters, niacinamide is a great choice, but I actually don't like one from the ordinary i'll link a video at the end so you guys know why but it's just too strong for the skin it could break you out i recommend two to five percent and i do have a video of my niacinamide recommendations so watch to the end check it out retinol my dry skin sisters to 0.2 percent and squalene is amazing because retinol can be drying your skin doesn't need any extra dryness so your skin can definitely handle this oily skin baddies the 0.5 percent is great because your skin can handle a little bit of dryness just a little bit moisturizers my dry skin girlies the natural moisturizing factors plus phytoceramides is great because your skin needs to rebuild the skin barrier tons of ceramides to help with that it's also got lipids fatty acids peptides urea sodium hyaluronate so all the things you need to get that skin barrier and overall skin looking like a baddie that it already is oily skin sisters natural moisturizing factors with hyaluronic acid because we need all the hydration we can get also with lactic acid for moisturizing factors and so many different forms of hyaluronic acid to really pump hydration back into that skin and it's oil free win-win for sunscreen use whatever sunscreen you like because i don't like any of the ordinary sunscreens they're both mineral and i've heard nothing but bad Use. But yeah, my darlings, that concludes our video today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If I helped you in any way, definitely like this video, subscribe to the channel, join the family for more amazing skincare videos like this from your favorite cosmetic chemist. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!